Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel. Happy New Year everyone. I, I hope that this year 2018 will be the best year in your life. This is my first video filming this year and I'm very excited. The video that came up on the 1st January is the video that I performed in December because we were gone during the Christmas weekend. So I'm back home and I'm ready to film. I have such amazing products to review and show you guys and do first impression of. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. I'm planning also a giveaway for Valentine's Day, so stay on my channel so you don't miss that. But right now I'm going to review a couple of products from Colourpop. Now I got this package just before we went away for the weekend and uh, uh, look how everything is nice packed in here. Unfortunately I had to pay extra shipping or other costs so it was a little bit expensive though the Colourpop is not expensive brand but shipping to Sweden it costs a lot. What I have here is the whole collection from Kate, Caitlin Lights. I love Caitlin Lights and when I saw her collection coming out I immediately ordered it as soon as it was available on the website. So here are the three uh, lipsticks. This is uh, this is ultra glossy lip. I think uh, ultra satin lip and also ultra satin lip. So uh, ultra satin lip is my favorite uh, color pop formula and I really like that and this is ultra glossy lips. I ordered this collection of lipsticks just because because of one shade and uh, let me show you the, all of them. This is ultra glossy. It's kind of like um, nude uh, glittery lipstick. And then we have Dreamy. And it's this beautiful ultra satin lip. This is more like a pink undertone. And then the shade that I really, really wanted. And that's why I ordered the whole collection. It's just because of this lipstick. This beautiful orangey red shade called Review Revere it's French name and I really like this color on her so I hope it looked nice on me too and then also I bought the eyeshadow palette of course and it's nice packaged too oh, beautiful packaging I love it and name of the shadows on the back and of course I'm going to swatch all of the lipstick uh, lipsticks on my lips and also going to swatch the palette. So let's open it together. I haven't even opened it, so I didn't I don't know how it looks. Of course I've seen it online, but I haven't opened it when I received it. Ooh. It closes nicely. Beautiful. And these two shades are the shades that that really speak to me online. And I really wanted this palette just because of these two shades. Now, the, when I saw this palette, I immediately had in my mind a makeup look using this using these shades. And I saw that she already created a similar look. I think she created one using only the matte all over the eyelid and this shimmery on the lower lash line. But I think I'm going to create a makeup look using this all over my eyelid be because that's what I had in my mind when I saw this palette for the first time online. I think these shades look amazing and I'm definitely going to swatch them. Let's start with swatching this palette and uh, create a makeup look and then we'll do swatches of the lipsticks. So we have Twinkle, Stardust, Magical, and shooting star. They feel so soft and creamy. Oh, look at the swatches. Beautiful shades. Okay, let's go to the next road. Going here. Spark, Potion, Water, Beer, Beer, Sweet Dreams. 
I probably pronounced wrong a couple, couple of these shades, but don't hate me for that. A little bit powdery, but they look very nice. And they feel very soft, a little bit dry, but I kind of like that sometimes on the eyeshadow. They, I feel like they blend easily. Beautiful shades. And this one is more red than I thought. Not easy to take off, I can say. And now I'm going to take the third road and we are going to take this Mermaid Boy, Moony, Elfish, and Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. I think that's wrong pronunciation. I think I pronounced that wrong, but let's see. Uh, this one swatched a little bit as pigmented, as nice as the others. It looks a little bit streaky, but we'll see how it will work on the eyelids. And this shade, Mermaid Boy, is beautiful. Look. So that's the palette. Now I think I'm going to create a makeup look. And I already primed my eyes. I am going to take uh, this shade this stardust all over my eyelid. I need my mirror first. So I'm going to dip my brush in it like this. This blended very nice on my eyelid. I want to set my eyeshadow primer with this too a little bit because it, my eyeshadow primer is a little bit sticky I'm trying out a new eyeshadow primer I'm actually really liking it but uh, I won't say which one it is because I'm preparing for an eyeshadow primer video that I'm going to test different eyeshadow primers I think I always have around 20 different eyeshadow primers in all price range so if you want to see that video, it's going to come up in a couple of, I have to say, a week or two. So subscribe if you already haven't, so you don't miss that video. But this shade is a very, very nice. I really like this shade. And it's so easy to blend. I'm going to take this shade here, Twinkle, with the same brush. This one blended very nice over the first shade that we had. Look how beautiful that is. Then I'm going to take another blending brush and I'm going to take this dark portion, I think it's called, the dark, dark green one. They are a little bit powdery, I don't know if you can see, but I don't mind. They blend very easy. I'm actually going to take another smaller blending brush like this for the crease and take that green. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay, there goes the brush and I think I'm going to use this brush to apply this shimmery green that I can't pronounce Keller Keller scope Kel yeah don't mind I'm going to try and take this shade all over my eyelid and I'm going to use this brush dry and see how it it applies very nice even if it's dry look without any fix plus anything but I'm going to use my finger too to see how it applies with the finger much better of course 
then I'm going to take this brush again and go into the shade Stardust, the second shade on the first row and blend it down here. I want to use as many shades as possible in this pa palette. So I'm going to take this dark moony shade, the brown one. This brown didn't swatch nice, but it blends beautifully on the eyes. And then I'm going to take this um, shade down here, Mermaid Boy, with this flat brush. I'm going to put some eyelashes on and I'll be right back. I really like how this makeup look turned out. Love it, love it. And with eyelashes on, it looks beautiful. Now let's go over to the lippies. We have Ultra Glossy Lip in shade Moon Child. Then we have this beautiful Review, Review, I think it's called. This is Ultra Satin Lip. And then we have more Nude P, kind of P, pink undertone, it's called Dreamy Ultra Satin Lip. So I think I'm going to try first this um, Ultra Glossy Lip, I'm going to try that in Moon Child. The lips are a little bit dry, it looks like shimmery. Um, it feels very nice, feels moisturizing, doesn't feel heavy and doesn't feel sticky. I really like the applicator, it's so easy to apply and it looks like it has glitter in, in here when you look at it very close. It looks like it has glitter but it doesn't feel like that. It looks shiny but it doesn't feel like it has chunks of glitter. Like I have chunks of glitter on my lips, it doesn't feel like that. And it looks nice and gives me a very nice shine, I really like this glossy lip and it looks very nice with this makeup look but let's go and try the next one my lips are still a little bit shiny from this glossy lip let's take this one the Revere, Revere. I'm really excited to try this shade this shade is the reason I bought the whole collection ah. Oh my god, I this is my favorite applicator of all times. I think this is the best applicator ever. So easy to use, especially with the, this kind of bright, strong color. Uh, I have to let it dry a little bit, a little bit because it feels a little bit sticky. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels a little bit sticky, but oh my god, look at this shade. Now, of course, it doesn't go with this makeup look with the eye look but I'm loving this shade really loving this shade and I think it looks nice on my skin tone too I'm enjoying it I kind of first when I applied it it looked a little bit streaky but it doesn't look streaky right now still feels a little bit thick sticky so I think I need to let it dry a little bit more but I'm loving it so now it's almost dry and I can say it doesn't feel sticky at all it doesn't feel heavy it feels like I have something light on my lips, that's all. I'm loving this shade. <laughs> I'm so surprised that it looks very nice on me. Loving it. I'm always afraid of orange shades, orange lipsticks. They always make me look a little bit pale. Uh, now I have bright, bright lights, but and maybe I look pale on the camera, but when I look at myself in my mirror, it really looks nice on my skin tone. I really like it. And I really love this shade. 
really love, really love this shade and I love my makeup today I have a nice makeup day today okay let's take this off and tr swatch the last shade this is dreamy and we're going to swatch that one maybe wrong of me to try that orange shade before the nude one but I wanted to have the finished look with this one so this is the last lipstick in this collection ultra satin dreamy the same applicator applicator this one doesn't look as pink on the lips as it does in here i'm loving this shade this went on smoothly feels nice feels soft doesn't feel dry applicator the best ever the best i'm really liking this ultra satin lip dreamy so this is the final look excuse my hair excuse my nails i didn't have time to fix my hair and my nails look like a disaster but i'm going to fix that i promise I'm loving this eyeshadow palette. I only tried these two, this brown, this one and this shade and I'm loving it. It's so easy to blend, so easy to work with. It didn't take, take me long to create this beautiful makeup look. The lipsticks I love. I really like all three shades. I didn't thought that I would. I bought the whole collection because of this shade right here and it looks very nice and beautiful on my lips. Now this ultra satin uh, dreamy that i have on my lips right now with this makeup look it's amazing it, it feels very nice it feels a little bit sticky but not too much nothing that bothers me at, at all and this ultra glossy lip i'm really not a big fan of glossy lipsticks or gloss lip glosses at all as you know i love lipsticks but this one i think i'm going to use every day this is a perfect shade for for every day let's see how it looks over this one this dreamy lipstick yeah of course you can use it over this one really liking this lipstick lipstick a lip gloss or glossy lip really enjoying it I really enjoy every product in this collection Caitlin light did amazing job with Colourpop creating this and it's beautiful it's cruelty free if you're interested definitely get something from this collection you won't regret it I love this palette I'm definitely going to use it I love the packaging it feels light and it closes so nice and I love this moon and this rose gold shade loving everything I have here uh, yes guys give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel please leave a comment down below what you think about this makeup look or this collection if you tried it if you're interest, interested in it and um, yeah thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye